Welcome to a new video from Excel Data Analysis Series PT for Pivot Tables. Video PT 3.2, we're still discussing grouping. In this video, we are going to see how we can group numeric values. We are going to look at two exercises. First one, how we can report products by sales brackets or sales levels. The second exercise will see how we can evaluate the performance of the sales men. During the video also, we are going to touch point on two important features in the pivot tables. First one is show value as, and the second one is conditional formatting with pivot tables. If you want to follow along while you are watching the video, you can go down below the video in the description section, you will find the link. You can use it to download the Excel sheet. In the first example, we have the annual sales report extracted from AAA bike shop report. It contains the categories and the product names, the quantity, and the sales for each product. And we want to understand exactly what of those products or categories lies in which sales bracket. So we'll start by creating a pivot table. I'll use the keyboard shortcut Alt and V. It will open the Create Pivot Table dialog box. It already understand the range. I, I want to decide where to put my pivot table. I will select the existing worksheet and location will be H six and i will click on ok the pivot table will be created i want to give a name let's call it sales brackets and enter now i'll start to build the report before working on the rows or columns area i want to build the values area first and i'll start by taking the quantity in the values area it will create a total for the quantity column i want to give it some number formatting right click number format i'll use numbers uh, thousand separator and zero decimal places and okay i want also to report the sales i'll put it down here in the value section after the sales it will create another total for the sales but now i want also to, to create or to report the percentage of the sales and of the quantity how can i do that i'll take the quantity once more i put it between the quantity and sales it will create another sum or another aggregation for the quantity column so i will right click and go to show value as and i will select as a percentage of column total i will select i'll do the same for the sales another version or another copy of the sales i'll put it here and right click show value as percentage of total column i can also change the headers here and i will select the header here and i will go to the formula bar and i can give a name from the formula bar like percentage of quantity and enter i'll go here also in the sum of sales 2 i will give it another name like percentage of sales or s for sales and enter now because i want to report on the sales brackets so i have to take copy of the sales field and put it in the rows section and once i do that it will create a unique list of all the values in the sales column but this way it will not give me any insights so i want to group it and i can do it from two places i can go to pivot table analyze in the group section and select group field or i can just right click and select group once i did that it will open a dialog box called grouping and as you can see it is giving you suggestion automatic suggestion to start with the lowest value and end with the highest value and categorize every 100,000. But I want to customize this. I will do the zero as a starting point and I will end up with the 300,000 only and I will keep the 100 for each category and I'll click on OK. As you can see, once I click on OK, it will create four categories. First one from zero to 100, second from 200 to 300 and the third over 300 and you can see there is a lot of insights in this report you can see here the quantity of the first category representing 91 percent of the total quantity sold however the value is only 33 percent and the last category which is above 300 thousand you can see seven percent of the quantity representing 60 percent 
of the sales and I think this is very insightful not only this you can also take the category names and put it below the sales and you can decide which category exactly is representing uh, which percentage of your sales in terms of quantity or value as you can see here the bikes representing like uh, 1.8 million dollar 60% of the sales however it's representing only 7% of the quantity if you want to look at the products as well you can just uncheck the category and check on the products and it will give you the analysis but the analysis this time will be a little bit big so if you want something to guide you through something visual so you can just select any cell in the column percentage of sales and you go to the home ribbon from home ribbon you select conditional formatting and data bars blue data bars and you can see it will create a different color here for only one cell however you'll find a small box here if you check or click on this arrow on the right hand side you can also select all cells showing percentage of values and once you did that and if you enlarge the width of the column a little bit you can see a small bars on the small percentages and big bars on the high percentage and this will guide you through the report so the second example that we have is how to evaluate our 69 sales representative according to this criteria which is saying that poor performers are doing from 0 to 35 thousands and the exceptions above 105 and two other categories in between so the, to build our pivot table i'll select any cell inside the range i'll use the keyboard alt and v to open the dialog box for creation of a pivot table i will select the existing location of f10 i will click on ok and i will give name like sales performance enter i will start with the sales in the value section i will take another copy of the sales i will drop it in the rows and i will do the grouping this time and you can see i want to change this uh, automatic grouping coming from the excel i want to start with zero to match this criteria and i want to have uh, a category every 35 so i'll write here 35 thousand and i want to end at 105 this is the highest category according to the criteria and i'll click on ok and you can see here you have exactly uh, simulated the criteria i have here in my pivot table not only this i can also borrow the names so i can just from the formula bar copy the first name i'll go to the row label here and just control v to paste and enter and i'll do the same for the rest of the table as you can see now we managed to simulate exactly the four uh, categories that we have in the criteria for evaluating the sales rep final step is to take the column sales rep and drop it below the sales so we can know exactly which sales rep lies in which category so we have the four categories now if you expand poor you can see the names in this section if you expand exceptional you can see the names in this section and so on and so forth that's all for today hope that was useful for you please stay tuned for the next video pt03.3 we'll talk about grouping of text thanks for your time and see you next video and bye